Hi there, welcome to Gray Street Casbah TV. This is the first of many, many to come your way. We hope that you will become an avid follower of our TV channel. I'm Buddy Govender. And I am Sean Platten, and we are the founders of Gray Street Casbah and Surround Group. Just a little about our background. My mom's name was Gloria Blanton. My father was Sunny Blanton. I was born in Victor Lane, which is next to Car uh, next to Carl Street. Family had a shop in Victoria Street called Avalon, Avalon, the famous Avalon Cinema, which later became Dreamland Cinema. Well, I come from uh, the Casbah ourselves as well. My father and mum, Yvette and George Govender. Uh, actually, I was born in 337 Randalls Road in Sydney, but um, lived all my life in Good Oak Centre, Queen Street. And together we consider ourselves the Casbah. born and bred Casbah boys. Ishan and myself uh, grew up together, so we know each other from little boys. Our parents were friends as well, socialized in many of the um, places that we're going to be talking about through our journey. But now, yes, we have got a long standing relationship uh, from little boys, having seen the Casbah evolve through the 60s, the 70s. 80s through to the 90s to current day. Our parents were there before us in the 50s and 60s, our grandparents through the 20s, 30s and 40s. We are the Casbah boys. So, how did this whole Great Street Casbah Facebook group come about? Uh, gone viral with hundreds and thousands of people on our pages and looking at our newspaper. But how did it all begin? We and Buddy were collecting separately photographs, documents of our area, collect documents independently and then we realized we were doing the same thing. We then put our resources together to formulate the, what you see today, the Casbah. Then, many of you know of the late Aziz Hassan, or as we call him, Uncle Aziz. Uncle Aziz. A man that uh, inspired us, uh, inspired me personally from a little boy as he was always a family member of ours. But he wrote the amazing book called The Lotus People. That book documented some of the information regarding the historical life and times and people of the Grey Street Casbah and surrounds. It was through Uncle Aziz then that we pulled together as a threesome to make sure that we have the historical information documented accurately. It also goes beyond Ishan our 1960s start. Uncle Aziz comes from the 40s, the 50s. So our history, inclusive of Uncle Aziz, goes way back into the early days of the Casbah and can be actually seen today as the most definitive and most accurate history of the life and times of the Casbah. So buddy, what can these people expect from our channel? Well, I can tell you it is going to be a magical journey. If you have seen our Grey Street Casbah newspapers, listen to us on the radio, this is going to be even so much better. Ishan, we're going to be talking about sport, football, Curry's Fountain. We're going to be talking about bands, clubs, sports, uh, entertainment, movies, food, the nightclub scene, buildings, cars, trains, train journeys. What about the people of the Casbah, the men and the women? that made the Casbah what it was over the decades. Because even Lollipop Auntie, the Nuts Auntie, the Mango Auntie, and all the aunties we'll be speaking about. Ishan, tell me, what about, have you arranged with Pushpa? I think Pushpa will be here, if you listen to Radio Lotus, and you have heard Auntie Pushpa giving us stories. Yes, Auntie Pushpa will be part of this channel. Well, that's what you get look out for, and much more. We are going to go way, way back to the day when the Casbah was our playground, was our homes, the beautiful, clean, safe Grey Street Casbah and surrounds. What more can we tell you? What more can we offer you? Grey Street Casbah TV, coming your way soon. Join us on this epic journey back into our channel. So catch us on the next edition of Grey Street Casbah TV. Bye. Bye.